Hey guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play an extremely cool thrash metal guitar riff. And I'm going to say, mm, it's at the intermediate level. Here's the riff you're about to learn. Alright guys, before we jump into the actual lesson here, I'm going to just go over real quickly the techniques and there's five techniques we're going to be using in this thrash metal guitar riff. The first technique is just the simple downstrokes, or some call it down picking. I call it nose picking. I'm just kidding, I don't call it that. Now with the down picking, we're going to be doing some palm muting. Now what's really cool about this thrash metal riff is we've got the down picking and palm muting, but you're also going to be integrating some alternate picking. Along with the alternate picking, we have what's called galloping riffs. That's what I call them anyway. Some people call them triplets. I personally think this is like one of the coolest techniques in thrash metal guitar. Now if you want to learn more about galloping riffs and how to play them, there's a link somewhere up there somewhere to go to another video I have explaining the galloping riffs in detail. And lastly, this would not be a thrash metal riff without playing power chords, so we're going to be moving some power chords around on the fretboard, like this. Alright guys, so let's dive into learning how to play this thrash metal guitar riff. It's the riff you heard in the beginning of the video. I think I said that already, but just in case. So I'm going to break this down into two parts. I'm going to play part one first. I'll play it at normal speed, and then I'll slow it down, and the tablature will be up there somewhere. Over the rainbow. No. Alright, so now let's learn the second part of this thrash metal riff. Now, things are going to get just a little bit more complicated here because you're going to be doing some alternate picking kind of fast and there's some other elements to this riff. So I'm going to play it at normal speed for you and then I'm going to break down the components piece by piece. And again, the tablature is up there somewhere, so follow along. <laughs>
I now I have a surprise for you. I didn't tell you this in the beginning of the video, so if you're still watching, I'm glad you're here because now you're about to play this riff in the full mix. I'm gonna play this whole thing through three times. I don't know how long it is, but I want you to play what you just learned along with this riff. Alright guys, now for the ultimate question I want you to answer, were you able to play along with this riff? Were you able to play all the notes just like I showed you in the lesson? And what were some of the pain points? I want you to leave this in the comments below. Tell me some of the pain points, like what was the hardest part, the most difficult part of this riff for you? I'd like to know that. Or was it easy? Did you just blow right through it? Now, if you had a hard time with this riff, if there's some parts you need to work on, you can always go back. And I encourage you to go back to where that full mix started. I'll put the time where it starts down there somewhere. I think it's there. Maybe it's there. I don't know. Maybe it's in your underwear. But seriously, let me know where the difficult parts were for you to play. I'd like to know that in the comments below. Now, the reason why I put this full mix in for you to practice to, and uh, if you guys like this sort of thing, I'll start doing this in future videos because I have found it, it is so much better and is so much more efficient to practice along with a full mix as opposed to just kind of learning a riff out here in the room with nothing and it's like, okay, dun, 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 dun. I played it, I know it. But when you're playing with a full mix, you have to get the timing down and you also have to flow, right? So you've got different components to this riff. You're going from this to that to that. Remember, we've got the five techniques that we learned in the beginning and switching from one technique to another in the full mix, you don't have time to stop. It's like, okay, uh, I gotta figure this next part out. You have to keep moving. So playing along with the full mix is really good practice. So again, I encourage you to go back to where that full mix started and just continue practicing along with that. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, leave me your most difficult parts of this riff in the comments below and let me know if this is helpful to you. And until the next video, as always, Keep it metal.